Hi guys, hello, hello. Um, I'm trying to get my lighting right and I've tried it every which way. So we're just gonna do it as we go and see what you need with the sun going down. I'm struggling with that. And um, yeah, so it seems to be changing by the minute. So anyway, I am working on uh, changing out my valance in my kitchen. So it's gonna look a little confusing to you, but I'm gonna do my best to explain. So here's the valance that I have now. Okay, and, and I still love it, I absolutely love it. I just wanna go a little more vintage, okay? So, when I had my store, um, which I just recently closed just a couple of months ago, I had a valance there uh, it, towards the back of the shop that I had used a lot of um, vintage things. Um, and this, so this, like this, it looked like this, oops, it looked like, it looked like this. I had all of these vintage things hanging from uh, muslin shreds. So, I mean, I've been doing muslin shreds. We opened our store in 2013. So I made this early, early on and it went all the way across the window, okay? And so I had all of these antique treasures. Um, I'm not sure, you guys have to let me know how the lighting is. Um, but I had all of these antique um, treasures. This is a big, heavy brass, uh, tag. I'm not sure. I'm thinking cattle maybe. I'm not even sure. This was a shoe, um, you know, buttoner. Here's a little wheel. I don't even know what that is, but it's super cute. Um, this was like on the front of a dresser or something like that. These, I have a lot of the coal mining numbers. Um, if you remember their, their pay stubs, I've told, kind of taught you guys all that. Um, some kind of a key. I'm not, I'm not sure what that key is, but anyway, there's all kinds of things. So I wanted to put, um, I've been thinking about putting, uh, that valance up here and changing out the valance that I had, right? Well, so the other day I got it out and I held it up and it was only like that window at the shop must have been really small. It was only like half the size of the window that I have in my kitchen. I didn't realize my kitchen window was so big. So um, I had it on a tension rod, luckily. So I was able to extend it, you know, twist and open it enough. And so I had to fill about half of it, okay? Um, I wish I had a way to stand you straight back, but I, I don't. So I put the rod up low and I've been adding shreds to every other one to fill it in. Um, because it looked really sparse and it didn't look right. So this is where I'm at. I'm, I'm not done over here yet, but I thought I would show you. But look how cute it's going to be. Um, I thought you guys might enjoy um, seeing it if you can. Um, there, let's see, where are you? There's an old lock. What all kinds of things? There's another really cool key. Um, just there's another little key. More key, lots of keys. Here's a pulley and another one of those... Um, uh, it's not a drawer pull, but it's like a decorative thing on a drawer. I think it actually was the back of a pole, and you can see where the two holes are. I, I bet you there was like a bar that went across there. Um, here's an old, uh, an old pocket watch I've got strung on there, and it's pretty on both sides. I know I just mailed out one to a lady uh, for a tassel tie-on, and it's pretty on both sides, so it'll work no matter how it goes. Look at this big key. It's huge. It's super heavy. Um, there's a couple of pulleys on here, and then I've got this big spring. Like, I added a big old spring. Um, the pin, and the pin had a tag on it, which I thought was super cool. So anyway, that's what I am doing. Here's another big tag. Um, not quite as, well, is it? Yeah, it's as big as this one. So I have two big tags. Um, but I'll be sending a picture up um, as soon as I have it finished. But I was really just trying to inspire you guys. Um, maybe you want to make something like this. It doesn't have to be antique things that are hanging. Like if you have charms or even it would be cute with um, old wood spools or just anything you can think of to hang. And then I did some varying heights too. So there's some little short keys. Um, I think that they're all keys that are short. Um, I think I had them on something else and I ended up and moved them over to here at some time a while back. I need to add another short key here, it looks like. But so all I did, um, so just in case somebody wants to try and make one, all I did was take some, um, let me see if I got one that's, oh, that was a short one, but so I sat last night and I took my muslin 
and I cut just like I've taught you every, you know, so often. I made these a little extra wide. So I cut about every inch-ish, you know, not too much more than an inch, maybe a little, maybe an inch and a quarter. Uh, and they're random, like here's the next one. So you can see they're different, you know, they're different widths. I just cut however. So, uh, and then, so I'm doing every other one with something tied to it. So there's a plain one. So there's one with the key. So then um, the other thing I'm doing is varying heights. I'm making sure that I put them on in the same direction. Um, and then if I need to cut the little tabs, the little tails off, just so that they're all kind of approximately, you know, the same length. I was leaving them hang big, but it was too, I don't know, it didn't seem right. It was kind of distracting. So, uh, so here, so if I look back, I have a short one and then I have a medium. Well, actually that's pretty long. Here's, oh, that's pretty long too. So I think I'll go for a medium one. I'm gonna go for one in between. So I've just been trying to vary the height and I'm cutting straight across. And then what I'm doing, instead of sitting and ripping like all of them and having dealing with so many strings and stuff, making them a little bit bigger and then I'm cutting them, I'm doing two slits, cutting them or tearing them into three pieces. Okay, tearing them into three pieces. And then I'll slide over this one. Oh, here's a pocket watch and it's just the guts of a pocket. I can't go any bigger because my sink's right here. I'm afraid you'll fall. Yeah, you're gonna fall. Let's see if I, yeah, you're gonna fall. <laughs> I can't, I'm trying to get you closer, but I can't. Uh, but this is a pocket watch and it's got the guts in it. So we'll move that over and then it's time for another strip. So I go behind, up and over and then pull. And I'm not double knotting or anything. It's not gonna go anywhere. I don't need to worry about that. Then I'm gonna make one just a little bit longer than that. And I'm gonna cut two slits. It's taken me a couple of nights um, to do this. I've been working on it just to hear every here and there um, until I get it done. Uh, but yeah, so I just kind of propped it up here in between the windows and here we go. So um, that's all, let me see, I'm not seeing any comments. Maybe no one's saying anything. I don't, I'm not seeing any comments at all. So um, I'm gonna keep a roll in here and then I'll probably, I'm, I'm not gonna hang it with you guys because I didn't think to get a chair. Uh, I'll probably need something more than a chair to get up there. Um, so I'll hang it and then I'll post a picture when I'm all done so that you guys can see. Um, and I'll tell you what, when I get off of here, if I see, I'll, I'll look to see if there's any comments or questions or thoughts or whatever. Um, I thought about putting some tea stained ones and kind of intermixing it a little bit, but it's, it's almost busy enough. So I didn't want to make it more busy. So I thought I better just leave it like it is. And I've got it packed. I mean, it's packed pretty tight. It's not, I'm pushing pretty hard. And it's not, I've got a little bit of give here. I don't know how much give I'm gonna need at the end. So um, then I can loosen it back up. That's where it joins. So I'll have to work on those to go over. Uh, but yeah, so I think it's gonna be really unique and um, definitely a one of a kind. There won't be anybody else with a, with a window balance like mine. Um, but I mean, even if someone said, oh, make one for me, like I could never do the same one because I just don't have all of the same things. And it's not, they're all antiques. I can't run out and buy, um, you know, buy the same thing, which I love. But so you guys, honestly though, you could make, it doesn't have to be antique. It could be reproduction things. You can um, find all of these things, like the Tim Holtz stuff, you know, in the scrapbook, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, he makes some great reproduction things that are super fun. So you could, um, you know, tie some of that on. Uh, but I, I don't even know how many I should I should give you guys maybe a, a width of my window and give you an idea of how many things you would need based on that um, if somebody wants to know that just message me again I'm still not seeing any comments so I don't know that anyone's even commented um, I know Facebook's so goofy anymore you just oh there's a short one you just never know um, when, when you're doing a video, whether you're gonna get it. But I did discover a really cool thing today, you guys. I had um, signed up for, uh, what was it? YouTube years ago, a couple years ago, um, and made a channel. 
I never did anything with it, right? But when um, my friend Danita helped me like get it going, and we had a lot of our videos go over onto YouTube, autom kind of an automatic setup thing. And so we were looking about setting up a YouTube thing, and she's like, well, we already have, we already have one. So we were looking at it, and there are 375 videos over there of me um, making things and doing things. So if any of you ever are, you know, prefer to watch videos on YouTube, we do have a Tammy Loves, um, it's T-A-M-I, remember, but Tammy Loves YouTube channel. And so we're tickled to death to, um, I was so excited when I, when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, why haven't I, I, lo I watch YouTube all the time. And I didn't even know I had my, <laughs> I'd kind of forgotten that we had done that. So um, that's kind of cool. So I thought I'd tell you guys that anybody that wants to go check out YouTube. Um, we have uh, a lot going on. I've been doing videos since, well, since it first started, for sure. I think 2013, when I opened my shop, I think is when the uh, <coughs> we were able to start doing videos. So um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Kind of a cool thing um, to know if you're, if you're interested, if you like YouTube like I do. Um, of course, we have our Pinterest page as well. Um, Let's see, I'm losing my, I'm talking so that I'm losing my, okay, then I'm keeping these ones that are too short. I'm keeping those for some other project, for sure. I have a whole bunch of shreds cut. They're all over there on the counter. Um, what else do I wanna to talk to you about? Oh, so I told you guys it was my uh, birthday and my daughters, <coughs> they both live out of state. So I got a box in the mail yesterday. They're like, no, don't open it until your birthday. So. Um, I left it sit there and it had a gift card and a new purse. So sweet. Well, so then just a little bit ago, Federal Express delivered a box and I'm like, well, what's this? Who's this from? And it was Sherry's Berries. And do you remember, um, when Chocolate Couture sent me Sherry's Berries for reaching the new, uh, level of Couturier, um, I got Sherry's Berries from my, uh, well, one of my team leaders, and that was so sweet. I never had them before. Have you guys ever had Sherry's, uh, Sherry's Berries? Oh my gosh, they're so good. If you ever need to send something to someone that's very different, um, I, you wanna see them? I wish I could see comments. I wish I could see comments, but I can't. Hang on, let me show you. Eat one. So, I, I had one, but it's Sherry's S H A R I. Oh, it's backwards for you guys. S H A R I S. And look, I ate one. I told you I already confessed. Aren't they beautiful? They're huge. Let me show you. Um, I don't know which one to pick up, but they're big. Like, look how big. <laughs> they're huge. <laughs> So yay, I'm so excited to have those. They're beautiful. And you can get all kinds of toppings. Like you can get all kinds of chocolate, dippy, whatever you want. Now where's my cloth? They're kind of sticky. Um, so yeah, that, that was so, they just really spoiled me. So I, yeah, I, I called Abby. I didn't get a hold of Summer yet. So I've got to call her and thank her. Um, so yeah, isn't that sweet? Oh, whoops, let me put you back here. You don't want to look at me, but isn't that sweet? I thought that was so, so sweet and, and literally so sweet, right? <laughs> and then, um, let me see what else can I talk to you about? Um, I do know, like a lot of you guys have been asking if I can spare any of these things and I do have some back stock of, of little treasures and I've sent a lot I've sent a lot out to a lot of you guys, um, and you were making tassels and old bottles. And just so that you know, and old papers too, I've sent a lot of old papers, you guys messaging me. So um, I'm gonna be working on putting some like little kits together where you can go online and order them on my website, tammyloves.com. So um, be watching. For that I'll let you know when it's when it I keep putting on the wrong side when it goes live I'll let you know when I officially um, get that stuff on there but it's something that I'm going to be working on a lot I've got a long list of things but that's one of the things on my list um, some old book pages I can share with you guys I had a, a gal that bought a house and it wasn't there was an older lady that had lived there 
and her husband had passed a few years ago and then the older lady just got moved to a nursing home and she had no other family so the lady that bought the house knew me and knew that i you know did all of this stuff so she asked me to come over and go through everything so i've got my hands on some really neat things there were some things that i thought oh i'm not going to get you know i don't want to buy a whole bunch of of um stuff but then i called her yesterday and said you know what i changed my mind i i want this and that and this and that there were a few things but um most of it was like old books and book pages and a stack of sheet music like <laughs> clear up to my waist like i'm not kidding uh, and I was only going to take a little bit of the stash, but I thought so many of you back when I was covering the books it caught my videos. And so um, I decided to go ahead and get it all and I'll put it online for you guys because I know everybody's um, loving this stuff. And I get so many uh, messages. I know people always say, oh, I get so much, but it's true. So many messages um, from people saying, I don't, I, I just got another one, which is what made me think of this but that she just doesn't know where to get everything, but she would love to make this or that. And, you know, she doesn't want to buy it done. She wants to make it herself, which I totally love and respect that. So, <clears throat> and you know, I have all these things and it looks so easy to just go antique shopping and grab this and that. The problem is that you, <laughs> you don't know how much junk I've slept through, schlepped literally through uh, with my <laughs> friend, Julie to find all of these treasures. So, um, you know, I mean, you we could go a, a whole day of searching and not find much, um, which is really disappointing when that happens. Um, so you just never know. It's it's the it's a treasure hunt for sure. Let's see, I need to go a little long, a little shorter now. So, it's a treasure hunt for sure. Now, I don't necessarily have to cut these pieces. I could leave them thick and chunky, but I kind of like them a little thinner. I started out cutting them in fours down here and it was just uh, a lot of strings. It was causing, you know, I've talked to you guys about the strings that you get. So it was a lot of strings. So I, I backed it off to three and I, I don't think you can tell that I did that, but um, it looks really good. So I think if there's anything else I wanted to talk to you, I'm, I'm sorry I can't see any comments. Um, that makes me so mad. So, oh, I know one thing I can talk to you about. I burnt popcorn yesterday, last night. <laughs> I was sitting down, I'm gonna watch Netflix. Um, <clears throat> I had one of you, one of you gals called and was talking to me. We probably talked for an hour um, last night about just all sorts of things. I was trying to help her with her page and stuff on Facebook. Anyway, um, before she called me, I, I had made some popcorn, was just gonna sit in the chair and, Watch my Netflix show, and don't you know I burnt that popcorn? My microwave still smells like burnt popcorn, like bad. Like my whole house actually smells like burnt popcorn. <laughs> Does anybody have any? anybody got any tips to eliminate burnt popcorn? I've got. Uh, I put baking soda. I wiped, I wiped it all out um, with vinegar, and I put uh, baking soda in a bowl in the microwave. And um, I can't leave it open like all day because it's got a light in there. Uh, I mean, I suppose I could figure out how to unscrew the light, but I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. I've got a thing about a clean microwave. <laughs> so I don't like it um, being kind of smelly, like burnt pop. And they, there's nothing like burnt popcorn. It's almost like smoke, right? It's just so smelly. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't like that. So if you, and I can't see your comments. So if anybody's commenting anything, asking any questions, telling me anything about the berries or my YouTube channel or whatever, just know that I cannot see you, uh, co your comments right now. Um, I can see that some people are, are watching, so I know I'm live, but I can't see any comments. So I'll, I will get them when I'm all done. I'm so close to done here. I've got like maybe six more. Um, I will, uh, sit down and <laughs> see what, what you're telling me. Did you guys see the pea pods that I posted from um, our group yesterday? Oh my gosh, aren't they cute? They're so cute. I did. I had a gal get a hold of me today. She wants me to make her a set. Um, they're so cute, and I they started out painting them all green. If you, I know a lot of you don't get the pictures. If you don't follow my page or anyone's page, like at the up where you could choose to like the page or follow the page, if you click follow. It just goes in your regular feed. You need to click um, 
You need to tap on follow and then when that opens up, click on the little button to the right that says see first and then you don't miss anything. You can still like, you don't have to watch everything, but you can skim through, but that way you don't miss everything. But I know whenever I post a picture, like not very many people see it and you can see that it's true. If you go through and look at people that just post a picture um, and then look at their videos and how many people are commenting or watching or liking, you can, it's right there for you guys to see as well. There's just not that much um, sharing when you, or not sharing, but reach when you just post a picture. So sometimes I think I put a picture of something on there and no one even really gets to see it. And that's a, that's a shame because sometimes the pictures are really good. Um, on, on not just my page, I'm just giving you some Facebook whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I've given you some uh, Facebook whatever, info, Facebook scoop. <laughs> so, there's that so if you click follow on someone and you're really liking what they're doing then go in and click that follow again and click clear to the right where it says see first all that means is everything that they do will come up on your page and then um and then you'll see what they did and if you want to open it up and look at it you can and if not you can scroll on by instead of getting lost in all of your friends feed um it it'll hold it so that you see that first when you open up your page. So it's kind of cool. I see a lot of people first and then I, I um, find somebody new and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love everything she does. I want to follow her. So, um, you, and you're only allowed so many see first. So they'll, they'll tell you if you're at your limit um, and then you'll have to go in and, and you can fix. Sometimes, you know, you get, it's like, okay, I get what you're doing and you do the, you do the same thing over and over and I got it. So, so then you can get rid of those. But um, when you first meet someone and they're really awesome, you want to watch them. That's how you, that's how you don't miss anything. Um, because I know we all post pictures and everyone's, you know, wanting you to see everything. So um, that's just a little tip for you. And then another thing I was thinking, how many comp sweet, sweet compliments from the video that I did yesterday with the tour of the house with all of my old things and things that we've made and and I've gotten so many uh, messenger messages and comments um, just like private messages through Facebook and stuff like thank you guys so so much it's 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 a funny feeling to <laughs> put stuff in your house you always hope that people don't take it wrong and honestly I just try to inspire you as my uh, what my my goal and my end goal is, is just to give you ideas so that you guys can go make things, you know. I get inspired all the time, just like those peas. I'm jumping all around. Those peas that I made, did you guys see them? I should take you, I should, um, how can I do that? Because I've got you on a tripod here. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I can take you, but I'll take you. When I'm all done, I've got one more tie after this to do. I'm going to do this, and then I'll take you and show you the peas that we made. Because more people, Facebook likes live videos. So Facebook will send, like, the power or the juice or whatever they call it. They will send that to more people when you're doing a live than a picture. So I know some of you probably didn't even get to see them. Um, oh, they're so cute. So cute. So this is trash. Let me get another shred here. Oh, I didn't bring a whole ball. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm so close, you guys. I'm so close. I might want to do. I might do one more on the end just for some fluff. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I didn't make the peas in a live group or in live with you guys because I have that little paid membership. It's $15 a month, and um, I kind of like to give the girls when, you know, we have something new, I like to put it in there and really get detailed about it, what's working, what's not working, you know, all the, all the stuff. And then to come here and do the same thing isn't fair for the ones that want to see all the special good stuff. So, um, if that makes sense. I, I just love having the group. I love it. The reason I did it was trying to find people that had similar taste as me so that we you know so that when I feel like messing with this kind of stuff I know that I can't jam my page up with that or people I'll lose people won't be interested in it 
So you gotta be a little more general, you know, a little more interesting, I guess, diversify. And I don't have any problem with that because I have all kinds of things I can share. But my heart is in the antique vintage things. So um, yeah, so that's, yeah, so that's why I have my little group so I can go in there and, and be me <laughs> and share my ideas with people that I know are all about it. So um, if you want, if you're interested in the group, message me or you can go to TammyLoves.com. Click on the three little bars if you're on your phone at the top and look for Tammy Loves um, Creating Vintage Treasures. That's the name of my group. So anyway, here's my balance. Now, of course, I'm going to be moving it up there. <laughs> so it's just down here right now so I can reach it and work on it. But isn't it cute? I think it's going to be really, really cute. Really cute. So I, I need to tie another. Oh, there's a key right there. I was going to say I need to tie a key here. I had a dead spot. but um, And there's that. There's that. Look at the guts of that. Isn't that cool? Can you see? It's, it's all the parts of an old pocket watch. And the back is kind of just plain. The back isn't very good. So I need to make sure that lays like that. Um, but yeah, I'll just go in here and pull all these things forward and play around a little bit to make sure everything shows up and that nothing gets lost. And um, yeah, and then it'll just stay like that. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. I'm all done with that. So let me take you, let's see. They let take you here. And I'll show you really quick. I don't have the lights on very well. I, got, I have everything on remote controls here. You guys know that. That follow me. So like... Like I can stand here, watch. I can stand here and click on, that's number one. And this one back here is number two. See that? That's number two. And then three is in my dining room and four is in my office. And five, I forget where five is. Oh well, anyway. <laughs> so I love that. So then, you know, when I'm done watching TV, I just kind of go click, click, click and everything's good. So here we are. Here's some peas. Let me show you my peas. So <clears throat> they're right here. Can you, yeah, you can see. There's one, two, three. And I used pearls. I painted pearls. Now Agnes, the lady I follow, she used um, wood beads and made hers a little bit bigger. Uh, but so that's one way I made them. I, this was a mistake. Oh, not a mistake. I laid my pearls out and painted them. And then my plan was to paint the whole pea pod. Well, when I laid my painted pearls in there, I thought, oh, I kind of like it like that. So um, I added some little, um, I'm, I'm calling them little roots, uh, that I may need to add. I think I might add a little leaf, like a little fake leaf to them. Um, uh, uh, one of the gals in the group sent me pictures of what pea pods really look like. So <laughs> I was thinking about maybe um, playing with them a little bit. But here's the original the original ones that how I wanted them to look is like this, like real, like that's what a pea pod would look like, right? I'm hoping you can see because I can't see what you guys can see. So they're just, um, I just painted them and they're just little burlap pockets um, with the peas in them. And so then I displayed them there. And then let me show you one more. So I got creative. Um, so the, the gal that showed us this, this, all she did was like that, but I got a little creative. Um, oh, and this room is such a mess. I'm so embarrassed to show you, but it's okay. So, you know, it's a work, this is like a work room for me. Um, so there in my dough bowl, can you see them? I love these. They're burlap. And then I use different sizes and stuck them in there. Oh, I think they're so cool. And I think they rest really neatly in that bowl with all of my covered um, wood balls. These were the extra balls from those wreaths that I made, you guys. I had just a few left, and um, so those are solid wood balls, and I just covered them with old sheet music. And then these were big balls that didn't sell at the shop. They looked like, they looked like um, <clears throat> croquet balls, but they were reproduction. So um, they didn't sell, they were kind of pricey. So I brought them home and I covered some for myself and then everybody wanted them. So, <laughs> so the old croquet balls are now covered in paper and there you go, that's that. So <clears throat> that's all I have. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up. I'm gonna hang my balance up where it belongs. I'll snap some pictures. Not sure if the pictures would be better in the day or in the evening. So. We'll see if I don't post them now, you'll know that um, I need to wait for it to get dark and um, I'll probably see you guys maybe tomorrow.
<laughs> so have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. And remember, if you have questions, comments, thoughts, just message me or comment here. As soon as I get all that done, I'm heading to my chair. I gotta catch up on my Netflix show. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.